When AMD created the Ryzen processor, we really focused on the three things that people care about. It's, it's price, it's performance, and it's features. But what we also knew going into the release of Ryzen was that there would be a certain audience of people who wanted more. And those users told us that when Ryzen was released, they wanted more cores, more threads, more memory bandwidth. But what sets all of them together is that they're almost exclusively content creators. They do 3D modeling, they do digital audio, they do virtual machines, software development, they make things. And the types of applications that they use scale really, really well with cores and threads. And that's why the AMD Ryzen Threadripper processor exists to serve the needs of those creators who run the apps that do more with more. What we've observed is that the PC industry often likes to fit people into neat little buckets. There are even words for that. It's the, the workstation market or the PC gaming market. And those are easy for research reports and whatnot, but there's some overlap there. A person who does 3D modeling at work wants to go home and play a game, or maybe they're a gamer who also creates as a hobby. There are tons of those people. So. Part of what makes the Ryzen Threadripper so special is that it embraces the fuzziness. It acknowledges that there are people who want to create and game on the same PC and need the scalability and need the performance to do that, maybe both at the same time. That potential is there and that's what's really exciting about the Threadripper chip. A traditional desktop PC would bring your system to a crawl more often than not when you start a render. And so having this versatility to just go really, really fast as quickly as possible with a, up to 16 cores and 32 threads or to play a game while you're working to use your time more effectively, more wisely, those are the reasons why the AMD Ryzen Threadripper exists. It's for people who need to do it all and want the flexibility to get it done.
The world is producing data at an unprecedented rate, faster than our ability to analyze and understand it. To move, store, and compute all of this data requires incredible processing power. From the blazing speeds of our devices to blazing trails within AI, Intel builds chips that are at the heart of nearly everything. Within every Intel chip manufacturing facility across the globe, innovators are pushing the limits of science and literally rearranging atoms to create groundbreaking technology. This strong silicon foundation is what gives each Intel chip limitless potential. At the heart of all modern electronics, the transistor is a tiny switch, 10,000 times smaller than a human hair, that controls the flow of electrons through a circuit. To build a processor, billions of transistors are packed into an area no larger than a fingernail. It's one of mankind's most complex feats and a remarkable achievement that Intel has essentially doubled transistor density in every new generation of processors. The process begins when silicon-rich sand is melted and cooled, forming a solid which is then sliced into wafers. Once inside an Intel fab, the raw wafers begin their long journey through an incredibly complex process. They're loaded into front-opening unified pods, or FOOPs, which travel hundreds of miles along Intel's automated superhighway, going from tool to tool, as processors are painstakingly built up on each wafer. The wafer first goes through a series of important steps, such as photolithography, ion implantation, and etching that prepare it for the critical transistor formation process. Intel was the first to manufacture three-dimensional transistors called FinFETs. FinFET construction requires first building a channel in the form of a fin. Intel has devised several innovations to overcome fundamental barriers to continued transistor scaling. One such innovation is a breakthrough fabrication method called gate last. It involves building, then removing a temporary gate in order to precisely place the dielectric material and metal gate. This allows for the gate to wrap around the fin and control the flow of electrons through the channel. Another invention moves the transistor contact directly over the active gate. To accomplish this, the gate material is recessed and then filled with insulating dielectric material to prevent the creation of a short circuit. Next, the dielectric near the gate is etched, filled with metal, recessed, and capped to allow a novel self-aligning process that enables the high-density contact geometries. Now, the dielectrics are etched selectively to expose only the desired part to connect to the first metal lines. This is done through an innovative via etch and deposition scheme, allowing contact over active gate to happen. Finally, dozens of layers of metal interconnect lines are added to complete the circuit. After more than a thousand of these complex steps, the wafers are finally prepared for singulation and packaging. Innovative processor packaging has become a critical feature of advanced computing architecture. 2D and 3D packaging technologies are enabling new device form factors and additional boosts in performance and energy efficiency. Testing of the final product ensures that every chip exceeds our performance and quality standards. In addition to adding more performance and features with each new processor generation, Intel's integrated design and manufacturing capabilities have enabled humanity to innovate game-changing technologies that impact nearly every facet of modern life. Intel keeps power in the world. At the same time, we're powered by you, the makers, the dreamers, the doers, the people who share in our history of making the world smarter, faster, and more connected.